Hi, this is Andrew with Uvify. Today we'll be unboxing the Draco. So this is the Draco that you will receive in the mail, similar to this box right here. So what we're going to do is go through all the different segments of this box and everything that's inside. So we'll start with taking the box apart first because it's a nice box, it's got a good seal on it, makes you wait a little bit. So, boom, there we go. So we'll take the lid, put it to the side. Inside, you will find your Uvify Draco. We're going to take this out of the foam and lay it to the side for now. I'm going to put it up front here so you can look at it. Next, we're going to take out that foam core that the Draco was in, and you can throw that one to the side. Inside the box, we have several accessories that you'll need to remove as well. So to start out with, we have the tools and parts box, like this. We also have an AC cable, like this one. This one will vary depending on what country you're from. We also have the charging block itself. This is for charging the battery of the Draco. And of course, we have a USB cable. This USB cable is for configuring any of the settings on the Draco. So we'll get rid of the bottom now as well. And we'll go through each of these four boxes individually. So for the tools and parts box, basically it comes with extra props for your Draco, as well as tools required to change the props or any of the bolts inside. So we have an extra set of props, uh, tools, etc. In the AC cable box, we have the cable that connects the charger to the wall. Again, this will vary depending on the country you're from. I'm from US Canada, so I have the US Canada plug. As well as the charger block itself. This is what connects directly to the battery, right there, for connecting and charging. As well as we can plug in now our AC cable. And last but not least is the USB cable. So this USB cable is standard micro USB uh, and is connected to the Draco for updates or other configuration parameters. So what we're looking to do first is to kind of look at the tools and charger. I'll take these quickly out of the bag. The Draco comes with a full set of replaceable props. In addition to the ones that come on the Draco, we have these four here. We'll lay those to the side for now. In addition to this, we have the prop tool. This is for taking off and on the prop nuts here, as well as for tightening the antenna. We also have two hex keys, similar to these ones here. Two sizes. The one size is for the arm bolts, if you need to replace the arms. And the smaller hex key is for replacing any of the uh, camera components or changing your camera angle. The AC adapter is for charging the battery. So you would plug this into your wall socket. And once the wall socket is plugged in, you can plug the battery into the connectors at the front here, and that'll start charging your battery. So we have the USB cable. This plugs into the back of the Draco here for changing any of the settings, and also into the side here for updating uh, things like the OSD. So to remove the battery from the Draco, we simply hold the button on the top. We push down this guy here, and then slide the battery backwards. It might be a bit stiff as we don't want this popping out in flight so it's designed to be nice and tight. Once you've slid it back a little bit we then pull it up and out. When you're putting the battery back you simply put it down and forward like so until you hear that satisfying click. So to charge the battery we simply take it out and connect it into the prongs here. You'll have to remove the small cover and then slide the battery in like so. Now if I had this plugged in these lights would start going up to show that it is charging. But right now mine is at about storage charge, two bars on the battery. Yours might come slightly different from this, but basically you need to plug it in and charge it before you fly it for the first time. So now that we have the battery either charged or just if you're setting up, it doesn't have to be fully charged, we plug the battery back in and then we take our prop tool and remove the props. We recommend that you remove the props for all initial setup until you're basically ready to fly. If anything does go wrong and the motors do spool up, we don't want the props on there as they might cause harm to you or any of your stuff. So to do that, we simply take the prop tool and take the nuts off. Now, two of the nuts are standard direction that you're probably used to with most things, lefty to loosey, righty to tidy, and basically the back left and front right, two silver nuts on here are taking off nut. So 
lefty loosey, righty to tighty. This one is off on the left. And we'll take this prop off and set it to the side as well as the other prop. We'll put these nuts back on as well so that we know which direction they are. So now we have the two non-standard nuts. Now these are backwards to the other two you're looking at. So basically righty to loosey. Um, you look on the top of the motor bell and you'll be able to see arrows that show the direction of lock and unlock of the nut. So we take our prop tool and righty to tidy. Or sorry, righty to loosey for these ones. So take that one off, take off the prop, and same with this one. So now that you have the Draco out of the box, props off, you're ready to look at some of the other sections that we need to do quickly before we get into any more in-depth uh, setup. One of these is taking your two millimeter hex wrench and tightening all these bolts down. They should all be tightened from the factory, but in shipping, some things can loosen. There are eight on the bottom here, as well as eight along the sides here. So basically, you just have to put the end in like so and give it a little turn. If it doesn't move, that's fine, it shouldn't. If it is loose, just give it a quick tighten. So I know that these are all tight because I checked them earlier. The other setting that you should also check is that the side bolts over here, on the side, this one right here and this one right here are also tight. For this, you use your 1.3 millimeter hex also included. Just give it a little quick turn and make sure it is tight. Again, try not to over tighten these. We do not want to strip out the heads or the bolts themselves. So now the Draco is ready to go. We've taken the props off for initial setup. We can start by pushing the button to see that it powers up properly. And this is done by a short and long press on the battery. So short and long, and the Draco will power up. This is just an initial check to make sure everything is working properly. You should get the lights, you should hear those tones, and that is basically ready to go. It may also continue to beep like it is now because it is not yet bound to your remote. So that is normal when you power up the drone with no remote powered. So we'll now power it down again, short and long press to power it down. If you just do a simple press like that, you'll see the charge state of the battery by the blinking lights on the top. If you're down to about one bar or one blinking bar, you should probably charge your battery. Anything higher than that is flight worthy, but again, unless it's fully charged, you'll have reduced flight time depending on how charged your battery is. So last thing that you should do and check before you go on to fly is check that the SMA connection on the back for the antenna is tight. Out of the box, it should be relatively tight, but you can just tighten this by turning it with your fingers. You can also take the prop tool that you had before and give it a quick turn as well. Again, try not to over tighten. We're not looking to strip any threads or pop anything off, just so that it doesn't vibrate loose in flight. That has been the quick unboxing video for Draco. Please head over to uvify.com for more information.